We're here at Bourne Airfield with planes and we've got our final plane design here. It's got a memory card on it. People have been uploading their stuff to the internet. We've put them on these memory cards which are proof against magnets and impacts and water, proof against stray cosmic rays up in space to survive the journey. We're going to drop them from the balloon in a test now to check that the pyrotechnic launch rig works before we do the real one. Okay, let's go and talk to the balloon guys and see how it's all set up. Okay, right, so any idiot can launch a balloon, right? The difficult bit is tracking where it goes and getting our payload back, isn't it? Now, we've got some cameras in there, and they're going to film the planes dropping, so we're going to need to get those cameras back so we can get the film. So how's that going to work, then? Right, well, I've made a simple system here. It's a sort of GPS sat-nav, like yep. you get in a car. We've got a little microchip that converts that information into ones and zeros. Yep. And that information goes out via the radio transmitter and goes out on this little... Okay, so there. this is up on the balloon. Up on in the blue, space, in at blue, the edge of space. At the edge of space. Okay, right. and it comes back down to. That's right, through the air, into the antenna here, yeah. into the radio, and then into the computer here. And this lets us know where it is latitude, longitude, and altitude. Can we turn it on so we can. Hear Certainly it go? can. It's if we whack up the volume here, this is, yeah. the, this is the raw data basically coming down into the computer. I love this. This is the sound of space science. You can actually hear it doing space science there. Right, so we've been finding out all about the space science. The other thing we have to do, of course, is release these planes. That is Steve's job, so let's go and talk to him and find out how it's going to work. Steve, how are you doing? Hi, Joel. Nice to meet you. Okay, so how are we going to release these planes then? So we're going to put the planes in a bag and we're going to hold the bag underneath the payload and yeah. release them at the appointed time. Okay, so the appointed time in this case is actually an altitude, right? So how are we going to detect that? We use GPS to work out where the balloon is and then yep. cut, cut it down just below the point where we've worked out that the balloon will burst. Right, I mean, can I see what happens? Is there yeah. a thing that it fires? We've got a cut down device here, which is just basically a piece of nylon cord over a resistor, and the resistor is just put power onto it and it heats up and cuts through. This the is the device which this will release the yeah. planes. Okay, so we hit the altitude that fires that device, it cuts the strings, the bag opens, the planes drop out into the vacuum. Yeah. Now we are walking a fine line on the edge of disaster here, aren't we? Because the way it works with the balloon is it goes up, it reaches the vacuum, it expands and explodes and mm -hmm. falls back to Earth. Mm -hmm. So we have to get these as high as we can, but still get them released before the balloon bursts. Yeah. That's the key to it, That's isn't right. it? That's the raw adrenaline of the whole thing. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to test this rig now. Um, I'll leave you to get the balloon sorted out, and I'll see you in a minute. Okay.